Okay, so we are ready to dig into a very powerful component of Google Docs, and that is the sharing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you how to share. I'm going to click on this word processing doc, bring it up. And the process I'm showing you is, is the same exact process for any of the documents that you can create. So a presentation and a spreadsheet, word processing, a drawing, it doesn't matter. It's all the same basic thing. They've all got the share button. I'm going to click on it and show you what it looks like. Shows you the sharing settings. Private, um, I could change that. I'll show you that in a little bit. But it's real simple to uh, share. All you're going to do is add people to the document. Um, if you've done some sharing before, your contacts, as you put them in there, will pop up. So all you have to do is start typing them. Um, I don't have any under this account, so they didn't just pop up for me. But whoever you add as far as email goes, you can click on here to tell if they can edit or view it. If you want them to be able to change it, make sure you keep that on edit. If you have contacts and you've uh, got a Gmail account, you've been using it for a while, the people that you correspond with will pop up in here. All you do is click and add them and hit done, and they'll be added to the document. Um, now, what does that do? Well, what it does is if I send this to uh, edtechsteve at gmail.com, that's my other email address, click on share and save. It adds me as a editor. So um, if I were to get onto my other account, I could hop right on here and change this. And what's really cool is it's in real time. So as I'm changing something, uh, you can invite people into the document. They can all change it at once. There's a chat window that pops up. And uh, it's a really cool process to, to be able to collaborate on one document. I'm going to show you that in a, in a little bit of a different way. I'm going to close this one. I'm going to open up the spreadsheet file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your document public. The last document I did was private, so it was only for the people that I en entered in here, would it send it to. If I change that, I've got two options here, anyone with the link and public on the web, where anyone on the internet can find it and access it. Um, and the key component here is they do not need to sign in to edit the document. And so whenever I click on here, I'm going to click on public on the web, this means that um, anyone can come in here and view it. Now, if I want anyone to edit it without signing in, I have to click this box. And I'm going to hit Save. What that does is it gives me a link here. So now I've got this link. I can share it on Facebook, Gmail, Twitter. Um, and I'm actually going to copy it. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to add a recipient here real quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out to Twitter and I'm going to throw it out there and see if I can get some people to respond. I'm going to say, help me with this document, please. And I'll paste it in there and I'll tweet it out, see if anyone comes on and, and uh, puts their name in the location. And this is really helpful whenever you open up a, a document for public viewing you can get uh, results from people all over the world, you can get input from other people, you can have them work from all over the place. You can see I've got a couple people um, that are already opening it up. And what's really neat is really to get to some real-time collaborative efforts going. So this is just a simple example of um, just one document where I've got um, just a name and location. In a couple minutes, I'm sure I'll have some people come in here and, and tell us who they are. While I'm waiting on that, I'm going to come back here, and I want to show you uh, another thing that you want to definitely take a look at, and that's the templates. Google Docs has a ton of templates. If I go over to Browse Template Gallery, it's going to take me to the template page. There are templates for all kinds of things, documents, spreadsheets, presentations. Here are different kind of categories. If I click on Letters and Faxes, it's going to show you um, what the templates are. You can uh, take a look at it to see if it's something you want to use. This looks like a resume template. And if I do want to use it, all I got to do is click on Use This Template, and it will download it into my docs. So now I've got a copy of it. See, I've got a copy of it right here. And whenever I go back into my Google Docs, it's going to show up. So these templates are really cool. If you have uh, find some that are really good to use, you don't have to do all the work. Um, there's a lot of things that are already out here. They're rated by different users. Um, you can sort it by highest rating. And uh, 
you would definitely want to take a look at those. Uh, those templates are really helpful. All right, uh, last thing I want to show you before I check in on my uh, my spreadsheet that I shared out is I want to make sure that you know where this Learn More is. If you get stuck with Google Docs, I've done a really brief overview here. There's a ton more to it, um, and I didn't really go into great detail, uh, but if you want to learn more, you want to click on this button. It's going to take you directly to a, a set of articles that will help you with all this stuff. Uploading files, uploading folders. I've given you the gist of it, but if you get stuck, this is a great place to go to. All right, I'm just going to click here real quick and see if anyone actually took me up on it. Nope, no one put their name. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I made it so that they could edit it. I just want to make sure I, I did. Public on the web, anyone on the internet can edit. Okay. So we've got one person editing it anyway. But anyway, I just want to show you that uh, that's one way you can do it. You can share things out. All right, uh, that's it for this video. And uh, if you have any trouble with Google Docs or you want to try some different stuff, uh, just let me know. Mm -hmm.